A stunning move by the defense minister today. Jason Kenney took responsibility for dealing with complaints of sexual harassment in the military out of the hands of the Canadian forces. The move came just hours after CBC News reported the military appeared to be resisting a recommendation to establish an independent body to handle those complaints. James Cudmore broke the story this morning and he has the day's developments. James. Peter, the documents show Canada's top soldier told his generals to plan as though there would be no changes to the military's existing investigation and justice system. That would mean no new independent centre to handle complaints of sexual misconduct. The orders didn't last for long. The Honourable Member for St. John's East. By the time question period rolled around today, General Tom Lawson was receiving new orders. The minister needs to exercise his authority and take responsibility. Will he guarantee that the Canadian Armed Forces establish an independent body to handle sexual misconduct, yes or no? The defence minister's one-word answer? Yes. Yes. It was a stunner, especially in contrast to the Prime Minister just a few minutes earlier when he poo pooed the CBC report. To quote a letter two months before that and apply something else is unfair to the Chief of the Defence Staff and to the men and women in uniform. That letter was in fact a formal order. Tom Lawson wrote it after he saw an advanced copy of former Justice Marie Deschamps' report into sexual misconduct in the military. The orders were sent to 21 top generals and Defence Department bureaucrats. They directed military brass to assume that the current sexual misconduct investigation and justice system authorities will remain unchanged, despite Deschamps' recommendation. The orders also said there would be no change from the existing definition of sexual harassment, despite a recommendation there, too. There's no pretense. The orders cast doubt on the sincerity of Lawson's initial response when he said he accepted those recommendations in principle. Former fighter pilot Lori Hahn defended Lawson this morning. He's developing options about how best to implement that. That's his job. That's what he's doing. I've known Tom Lawson for decades. I have a lot of faith in him. He won't find anybody more uh, with more integrity, more honesty, and a more decent guy than Tom Lawson. He will get the job done. Lawson himself refused to be interviewed, but today in a statement, Lawson said the military now recognizes the need to have a center which is independent of undue influence from the chain of command. The officer in charge of the military's response to the external review is expected to report back in September. Tom Lawson will retire in the next couple of months, so Peter, that means dealing with this will become the first order of business for his successor. And Jonathan Vance is expected to act fast. All right, James, thank you. James Cudmore in Ottawa.